Nigel, the Nigel catfish from Forest. The rescue has been doing okay in the quarantine for a week. It's not really quarantine, just just a holdover. And he's ready to go into his new tank. 1800 gallon. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to leave. <laughs> Come on, Nigel. You're gonna like it there. It's about a foot and a half, maybe a little under. Yes, yes, hold on. He's trying to get out of the net. There you go. See, it wasn't so bad. You made it all worse. Well, that's good. No damage, no deformities. His spines are real sharp, pointy. It would hurt to get poked by them. So this is 1800 gallon. He's joining three soldier catfish, five Tiradoras granulosas and like nine Irvini catfish. And they're all in here. Here comes Nigel. Wrecking havoc among the Irvini. Okay, I'm not too concerned about this because usually there should be no problem. He's a big catfish and bulky and armored and big enough that nobody will bother him in this tank too much. Anything can happen of course, it's unpredictable, but I think chances are he'll be just fine. Once he gets accustomed to the tank, knows his ins and up and outs, he'll be alright. We have two big granulosos and three smaller ones. That was one, those two, two of the big ones. They're both males. Because we had a female who grew twice bigger and faster than them. So my best guess is they're, they're the males, the two in the back.
Okay, Nigel. I wish you luck. This is a dinette, by the way. This is where the blue is. That's where you're gonna eat. Fish are freaking out when they run into him because he's emitting alarm hormone in the water, and he tastes different, strange, a stranger in the tank. Some six skittish fish when they run into him they they bolt. <laughs> 